Oh my God, it's Queen Mother. Oh! <laughs> Being greeted with a superhero name is standard practice at Omar's World of Comics. She's the mother of the Black Panther. Oh my goodness, my son will be so happy that he is now the Black Panther. <laughs> Company president Omar Masood is a young man with Down syndrome. He loves all things superheroes. What is your favorite? Spider-Man, always. You're Spider-Man? That's my name. So Spider-Man and Queen Mother. Yes. I love it. Omar's World of Comics is now superhero-sized in its new location in Lexington Center. Merchandise includes games, action figures, and of course, comic books. After Omar graduated from the Lab Collaborative in Lexington, a special education program designed to promote academic, social, and career independence, his parents, Sohail and Mona Masood, helped him open up shop. You like working with your family? I do. You do why? Because I'm their son. Omar was turning <laughs> 22. After 22, once they're done with education, a lot of these uh, young adults, they have no place to go. They're sitting home, watching TV, playing games. They get depressed, and it's a very bad quality of life. That's when I decided, OK, we're going to open a comic book store. Today, Omar's proudly employs other people with disabilities, and three days a week, lab students work as interns in the store. This place in Mona, in my mind, is really for helping the community. It's not to make money. There's no money in comic books. <laughs> But it's a fun place. You can see the vibrant colors. These are Down syndrome colors, blue and yellow. And we made sure that we continue the same theme all over the store. A true labor of love. And when you look around and you know what you have created for your son, for other people, how does that make you feel? It makes us so excited that we think that this can be duplicated in other towns where there are special needs schools. And it's no surprise that Omar has superhero qualities himself. Helpful, courageous, and charming too. I watched you last night. Oh yeah, how did I do? I'm doing great. Oh, thank you. Thank cool. you very much. Thank you, I you appreciate look, that. Look cool in your dress. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Omar. When a friend announced her pregnancy, Eliza Farrell wanted to get the baby a Boston-themed gift. Really, all I could find was Boston Patriots, Red Sox onesies. But she wanted something different, something subdued, that still had a feeling of hometown pride. I just started to draw aspects of Boston. I really wanted to make sure it felt like it had the insider nod and also play on words. So things like the Boston Tea Party. Instead of drawing the ship, it's a tea bag with a party hat. So that as you explore the print, you kind of also have to explore and understand the riddles. Farrell sent her print to a women-run manufacturer in Peru, which produced her first batch of Pima cotton onesies. Pima cotton is one of the softest cottons that you can really source, and Peru is known for it. With support from friends and family and her son Charlie, <laughs> she launched Joy Street Kids. I started really with pajamas and baby clothes, and then I have tried dresses and t-shirts. Some of those are working well, but I think really my primary focus after learning over this last year will be um, baby clothes and pajamas. After Boston, she designed New York and Nantucket prints. San Francisco and Chicago just are arriving. And then this summer, I'm so excited. We have Cape Cod, a new version for Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. Farrell says she loves seeing happy customers, but she especially enjoys working with them to find print inspiration. I want the community and the wearers to kind of influence the print over time. So I've worked with a lot of local small retailers in Boston and have gotten feedback from them of certain ideas they'd like to see incorporated into the next round. You can really get creative. Just so cute. And Joy Street has added new cities to its special fabric print list. The latest is Charleston, South Carolina. And back to Omar's, he knows so much about superheroes and prides himself in being able to identify one in all of us. On the day we visited the shop, he named our videographer Rich Captain America. And we hear he just celebrated a birthday. So happy, happy birthday, Omar.